like gravel? Because I don't like gravel. Then what do you like? Chiseled purple blocks. They're exquisite. Like that purple shirt that someone on news wears. Now it's time for news. This past Saturday, Thespian Troop 8118 swept the competition with their show, They Eat Sunshine Nut Zebras by Dara Murphy at Brown County and won first at regionals. Huge congratulations to all cast, crew, and tech members. A special shout out to Jordan Carpenter for winning Best Supporting Actress and Bridget Denfor for winning the State Thespian Officer Star Award. They're off to state next. Break a leg, you talented young men and women. Check out this video by Mama Huffman on the upcoming Iceland trip. Hey students, would you like to come to Iceland with Mama Huffman and you haven't signed up yet? No problema! Just alpaca your bags and come to my room to see me so I can give you some paperwork and information. I'd love to have you come with me to Iceland. Make sure to stop by her room 2230 for more information. Now let's go to John with today's Trending Today. This is a wholesome one, guys. Prepare, Millers. Seventh grader Jonathan Jones has been severely colorblind his entire life until his principal, who's also colorblind, let him use his high-tech glasses that allows him to see colors for the first time. What follows is Jones instantly breaking into tears. After the video went viral, a GoFundMe started to get him his own pair of glasses. Jonathan says his favorite color is blue. Personally, I'm a purple guy myself, but with that awesome story, now back to Mary with meetings. If your lifeguard certification is going to expire this December, there will be a lifeguard renewal course on Wednesday, December 18th at the NHS pool from 1 to 3 p.m. Please see Coach Steele with any questions and to sign up. Do you like pizza and breadsticks? If so, on December 12th, you can get Hotbox Pizza and mention NHS Best Buddies. You will get 20% off your order. Mary, i finally done it. I have achieved bullet time. Wait, like the Matrix? Yes, yes I have. Hey, Garrick, what do you do in your spare time? I, I'm sitting here looking suave while counting how many times I've blinked. Sounds like a boondoggle. In the meantime, we shall continue forwards into the vast unknown. The Noblesville girls varsity basketball lost Saturday's away in non-conference against Homestead by a score of 55 to 37. Catch them this Friday at home for a conference game versus Fishers at 7.30 p.m. Good luck, ladies. Your Miller boys basketball team had an outstanding win against Beach Grove with a final score of 45 to 52. The Mills will travel to Carmel High School on Friday to play the Carmel Greyhounds. Good luck, Millers. I now give it over to Grayson with Pro Sports. The college football playoffs are finally here. Number one LSU plays number four Oklahoma in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. And number two Ohio State plays number three Clemson in the PlayStation Fiesta Bowl. Since Alabama is out of the playoffs, we might finally have a good tournament. Now back to my broski Garrig with meetings. Thanks, Step Bro. This Friday, boys JV basketball play at Carmel High School at 6 p.m. Girls JV basketball plays at home against Fishers at 6 p.m. And your boys varsity basketball team plays at Carmel Friday, December 13th at 7.30. And your girls varsity basketball team plays at home against Fishers at 7.30. It appears it is the end of us on news today. We're on sports, Garrig. The quality and craftsmanship of this show is possibly insidious. If you wanna see more high definition content like this, and go to millermedianow.org or our YouTube channel at NHS News. Bye.